welcome and this story I'm going to be reading at it's called 3 a.m. walk. I'm, fa I'm fairly a small guy. I'm just, I stand around 5'5", five five, and the most I've ever weighed was around 150. When I was about six or seven years, about seven or six years ago, I didn't have my license dep dep deposited being fair enough, far too old enough to drive. But a good buddy of mine wanted to hang out. He do, did not have a, a way of transport. So we decided to w both walk, walk and meet in the middle. We both be walking about five miles. It was three in the morning in the, on the cold winter night, I was wearing a black jacket with a hoodie. About two miles into my hike, along came the main road. A car pulled into the parking lot spot of a home I was passing just a few minute feet behind me. He wasn't entirely in the driveway, almost halfway out of the road. I half expected it was just a stranger waiting to give me a ride, but I wasn't about to take any rides from anybody. I kept pacing forward, ignoring the car behind me, expect expecting them to roll down their window to shout at me. It didn't. The car just sat at the edge of the driveway, running completely completely dark inside in the point at the point that I could barely make a figure large man. I typically get frightened by much I don't typically get frightened by much, but something in the air made me tense up and heart kind of dropped to my stomach. I stopped turning and looking turned and looked at the car. I had a feeling that the person who drive me drive <clears throat> drive was watching me intensely. The figure in the car was definitely facing me. I could see the reflection from the door dash bouncing off his eyes. I start I stared back. I figured it was a, he was about to yell at me, but he just sat quietly in the stranger strangely main scene mencing the, the way that i had ever seen scientists uh, scenes in movies played out i uh, kindly did wave the f at the finger letting the him know i saw him <clears throat> and waited for some kind of communication in return he didn't he didn't budge just stared intensely. I returned to pace away, slightly brisker. I, after a few minutes, <laughs> after a few moments, I could hear the car. Oh, sorry, guys. Car slowly race, slowly rolled in reverse. So, I. I turned to face, but kept keep pacing backwards. The car kept creeping. Slowly, I pulled down my hood and stood still again, waiting for the man to pass me. But instead, the man slowly stopped beside me. The passenger side rolled down, and the man met, man and I met eyes. The word, no word. Hmm. Sorry, you guys. No words were exchanged at all before I could even let out a hello. The man glanced a legend glimpse away from a decent pace. Almost he was disapp he was disappointed by what he had seen. He doesn't 
it doesn't seem much far from what how it reads, but I will never forget how tense it was for me. I've never felt anything like that since. Ooh, that was probably a good thing. Excuse me. That was probably a, the smart thing of not going in the vehicle, rather, if it's, you know, he offered or not. So that's always good. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on that story. Um, that is called, that one was by Baby Faced Janitor. So don't forget to follow my other social media and don't forget to subscribe to my vlogging channel. And I will see you later. Bye.